Mine started too. All right. We are live. Let me get the chat. Hello, Ghost Warrior, Shine Vision, Ellie Allen, Ashoka, Superhero123 Caleb. Already got a friend request. This is going good already. Gamer guy. Blue Toxic, Bougie Channel. I remember you from yesterday, Bougie. And Ghost Warrior, how's it going? Tolf, Samuel Jacobson. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be doing a maze. A couple of maze challenges with uh, Brent Batch and some of the new logic parts. Awesome, no logic parts. We're sort of going to make our lives so Brent, much easier. Brent, manners. Say hi to the lovely folks first. Yes, hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I, get, I get a close up. Say hi. hi. Oh my god. Not that close. <laughs> Not that close. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> uh. Ziggy, please keep your manners. Uh, okay. So hold on a second. Uh, I don't know if my stream is buffering. No, it was probably just for me on my side. Okay. So what I have, uh, or so so what we have planned today. We're gonna be building a vehicle, uh, that's meant to solve mazes. Uh, it's a very simple vehicle, with uh, the new sensors on them. And, yeah, we're going to have special readouts to see. We're, we're not going to be able to see out of our vehicles. We're just going to be able to see the sensor readouts. No so cheating. No like... cheating in third person. No, no, no. So it just displays and then you can see how far the wall is and stuff. That's right. And then, uh, oh and then once those are done, we'll be building a maze inside this template. Yep. With these, like, then... uh, 16 by 16 sort of walls something like this so, Durf will make one, I'll make one and then we'll see, uh, we'll do both and we'll see who can do it best yeah, just not something like that so this would be, uh, you know there could be a right turn here or you could continue going straight and we'll be able to see that with our sensor readings yes yeah, and then and we'll have like a little done? a little competition, yeah, after that's done, what are we doing? what are we doing after that's done? AI cars. Let's see how good you're at uh, maths and, and logic. Oh, I'm, I'm definitely not going to be building a, a very... I'm going to be building a... It's, gonna, it's not artificial intelligence. It's artificial stupidity. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I never said that. I, I don't know what your chat is saying. He's saying something about a nudist. Stupid stuff. Oh. Well, we know yeah. how... Uh, we know how you uh, Dutch like it. Oh, please. <laughs> by the way. Oh, that's right. That's right. Anyway, and... so after we're done the uh, after we're done our mazes uh, piloting our cars, uh, we're going to try and build our artificial pilots to see if they can do the mazes themselves. So, I guess uh, let's, let's let's try and get started. Yeah, I guess. So, I think um best way to go is tank steering for this one. Yeah, I'm gonna try uh, to make some tank steering. I don't know how it's gonna go though. I might have to resort to regular, regular steering. I'm gonna try at least. Uh, how big should it be though? Any That's vehicle up to you. size restrictions? Well, obviously, if it if it's uh, too big to fit inside your maze, then uh, like the the wall here, then you've uh, made a mm -hmm. huge mistake. So I'm going to try right. to build mine small enough to fit well within this border so that um, basically as small as possible. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. All right. So for tank steering, we need double bearings? No. Well... Oh yeah, you can do a single bearings too, but that's not great. Right, let's try single bearing, just a challenge. Yeah, we're gonna try single bearing, tank steering challenge. With rockets. 
No. Um, With that rockets. Would be awesome, though. Okay. Um. Um. W A S T. Yeah, I guess I I won't need a, a larger vehicle than this. What? How much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by five. Yeah, really small. What kind of seats are you using? Modern ones, aren't you? Yeah, why not? Well, yeah. True. Keeping it nice and vanilla, though. This should fit right. Uh, that's up to you, I guess. Right. If we were using the, the polygon pack, we would have... Uh, one by one electric engines. Uh, let's make that part of the challenge, really. It ain't that small of a, of a maze, right? No, no. What are you doing again? We're building. Uh, we're building vehicles that we have to pilot. We can't see outside of the vehicles, uh, so we're just gonna have to. Uh, maybe we need to build a little example to show people the sensor stuff. Yeah, true. So I have a sensor over here. You do? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you I do. I have everything done. Do you do the colors? Maybe. Oh. Let's go for a bigger range, though. We're right. not gonna need that big of a range. No. Not but yeah, this is the uh, the sensor readings. We'll be able to tell precisely how far we are uh, from from our from the walls. So we're gonna have like one on even... each side, left, right, and front. I don't know if we'll need one in the back, but we'll be able to we'll be able to tell exactly uh, how far each wall is. Up till eight digits after the dec decimal point. No, we don't. We don't even need decimal points, really. We just need <laughs> no, two digits. Really. True. Um. So yeah, we're gonna be building vehicles with uh, sensors on the outside. We'll just see these screen readings, and then we'll plop our vehicles down in our mazes, and see if we can pilot them to the to the finish. We haven't built the maze yet, though, so. Ah, uh, we'll m make the maze after the, uh, actual thing. Vehicles. You're already way ahead of me. Yeah, well... Speed up. That's... No, yeah, that's to be expected. I'm not, uh... Not the fastest. Or the sharpest tool in the shed. Well... I guess you'll just have to sharpen that tool then. Uh, let's put that a little bit closer, I think. I am a perfectionist. I must... Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so we have two engines. Oh. Oh, how am I going to do this? The WASD converter. Magic. No, you just use the math blocks. Yeah, yeah, but um, I also don't know if I left enough room for my uh, readout. Let's put that mm -hmm. on top of the engine. It'll give me a little bit more room. Uh, did I get rid of my wheels? I did. All right. So, where's the math block? Is this it? It is it. Okay, so we need to get um, 
an output on these uh, on these engines, one for each side, I guess. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I need um. Oh my god, I haven't even thought about this. This is going great already. Well, one of each for each side is a great start. No, 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 because I need. There. I need uh, the. I should have gone backwards. Okay, the, there's the AD converter. There's the WS converter. Put those onto the seat. Magic is the answer to everything, of course. All right, now with these in there, um, they're gonna give me negative one and positive one each. So if it's, I could just give priority to the WS converter, I think. What the? Okay. I'm going forward. Wait. Um, something's wrong. Let's uh. Let's try just W and S first. Oh, um, the wrong way. I think I need another math block for each side, and we're going to, um... You'll probably want to multiply that value, otherwise it's gonna be real slow. What do you mean? No, it's, it'll just be whatever you get set the engine to, right? Well... Oh yeah, true, 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 true. You don't need to multiply that value. So if I just add both of the, uh, values together, like so... What the f yeah, um, my vehicle is already flying. I don't, I didn't use any tri Oh, come on. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to be the, the one that was having trouble. Don't steal my vehicle, just start over from scratch. All right. And next time, uh, don't create infinity. I didn't create infinity. I didn't even use, um, multiply, multiply. I didn't use dividing, so... No, Did I you really... use a logarithmic function? No, only multiplying um, negative and adding. Nothing else, really. Okay. Oh, that vehicle is so going to hit someone in the, tr in the race itself. Nah, the chances of that are super low. It's like getting struck by lightning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so the start of my vehicle is, uh, well, it goes forward and back fine, but when I turn left or right, it still just goes forward and back. So I must have done something wrong. I need to invert my uh, steering controls for one of the sides, which is going to cause a little bit of a delay. Um, or you can just create delay on the other side too. Yeah, but why would I do that? To have it in sync? I don't know. Got it. Got it. The basic setup. WASD single bearing tank steering. Got it. Got it. That was actually a lot easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, got it too. Oh, these these new parts are amazing. I know, right? These these ten hours or more Lua scripting was worth it. <laughs> Only ten hours. Jeez. You have no Maybe more. <laughs> Maybe more. The amount Not of hours put into the mod pack in general is way more than 10. 
Well, of course, it's way more parts. But yeah, we're glad to have you on the team. Alright, alright. So I think uh, I'm gonna save this. Let's actually see how well it performs. If it even uh, makes the size. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Yours is too big, isn't it? Well, no, it's the, it's the speed. You, you should check it out. Like, it does wheelies and stuff. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to uh, lower down our engine speed a little bit. Or maybe I could add a lerp function in the math box so that it, um, it smoothens it out. Lerp? Lerp? Yeah. Live urchin roleplay. Lerp. What? <laughs> it's like LARPing, but LARPing. Oh. Alright. Um, or an average... An average... Uh, a moving average filter. I'm gonna you know set up my is? blindfolds. And also my sensors. A really fast car? It's gonna be difficult, I think. No, no. Well, yeah, fast, I guess, is uh, helpful if you want to go fast, but... That's, I guess, up to you. Hmm. Alright. So I got my sensors set up. Whoops, that's the wrong block. This is going to be the prettiest. God. Tiny, tiny car. Well, wow. Don't need to go tiny. Oh man, this is super tiny. I, d I don't know if uh, this was a good idea with how tiny it is. <laughs> well, you want it. Maybe, maybe I can move my seat back a little bit. Oh shit. <laughs> I got it, I got it. <laughs> oh damn, you're lucky. Oh, uh, why? Why? I think it happens when you disconnect the seat or something. Maybe, I'm gonna, uh, well I have it saved too, all I did was just put sensors and wood on it. But let's uh, let's save this as little tank, and just in case, there we go. No, no, for for some reason, not having a seat on it does that with the, I guess, WASD converters. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> it's just gone. Mine is still flying around in the world somewhere. All right. But um, problem is at the coach. Why, yeah, there's still that. there's still WASD converters, so uh, that must be it. Wait, let me let me take a look. No, 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 no! Don't no. Dude, just, just stop cheating. All right, all right. <laughs> Taking my genius ideas. <laughs> <laughs> sure. All right. That's that's what I'm looking for. A vehicle that doesn't freak out. I think that's a good final speed. Now for the uh, sensor display reading things. Right, let's put a sensor. Oh, I could actually put them in my wall. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. Uh, so right there will be the left side, right there will be the right side, and the center. Did, did we add an average um, be right there. thingy in the math block? You can just create an average, right? Yeah, but I th divide think by we added that in the, th in the thing, wasn't it? Add it all together, divided by the number of stuff you're adding. 
Well, yeah, true. But yeah, that's not a bad idea. Let's add some, uh, let's add an average function. Is this on Twitch You're too? stealing my idea now? Man, that really hurt you deep on the inside, didn't it? Nah. <laughs> that really, that, that really struck you. A loss. Wow, uh, what is this? Why would it? That is the number block. I don't want it upside down. I might need to, might need to temporarily put up some wood. Uh, but yeah, for the people asking my chat if this is on Twitch as well, no, this is a YouTube only thing. I think I'm gonna stream Scrap Mechanic only on YouTube from now on. It seems to do uh, much better on YouTube anyway. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Mm. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but uh, we're not going to be looking on it uh, at it from the outside. One, two, four. Wait. All right. Smart sensors are hooked up. Let's uh, paint them. Uh, if I'm reading it this way, second digit is this one. Should make this one the second digit. There we go. What is life exactly? Oh, the roof is really low. We gotta change that. What is love? Life. Love. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god, this is gonna be so difficult. <laughs> now that I get to see what the inside looks like. Well. You wanted to make it difficult. Yeah, you want to pilot these things with nothing but AI. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm going to be building the maze so that walls aren't going to surpass two, digit two digits of range. You're not going to surpass 99 blocks. I don't think anyone's oh. maze is. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that too. Otherwise it's gonna be real. Okay, there we dark. go, so we got... Whoa, follow cam, there we go. <laughs> do we have... Is... Any way to know if we rotate it like 90 degrees exactly? No, no, you just have your sensor readings. Huh. Which is incredibly difficult. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think I think I made it around the corner. Oh man, this is gonna be so hard. To be honest, I don't even think uh I don't think we even need to make a maze. I think we just need to make like one zigzaggy path and that'll be hard <laughs> enough. Pretty much. Oh man, this is gonna be so hard. What are you doing with all those sensors? <laughs> Shh, you do you. All right, all right. You I'm gonna start don't building don't my maze then. Don't steal any ideas. And I'm gonna get bonus points. I'm gonna get like 50 seconds off of my time for finishing my maze before you're done building. Nah, you're not gonna be done before I I'm done building. You wanna bet? Mm, nah. <laughs> you don't wanna bet, do you? Nah, because I'm not 100% sure. I 
also have to make this like it's got to be easy for me but I also have to make it sort of difficult for you yeah well good luck with that is that about nine blocks Yeah, these things seem to work. I think, uh, I think you, you are already starting with the AI, aren't you? No, 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 I'm not. Hey, Angela. May solvers are possible without this mod. Although it takes practice and it's kind of hard sometimes before I made war. Yeah, yeah. I tried uh, making maze solvers with Lou up the grade, and uh, boy, that Spinning did not go ass. well. Yeah, you have to set up multiple sensors for like different ranges and stuff, or setting up the tank steering with a single bearing system like this. It's uh, the the mods that easier. we're using just makes it a lot more convenient. And I'm just, like, I have my connection tool out and I have no idea what you're doing over there. I'm keeping it simple. Well... You know what? I could paint I'm mine, too. I'm making it really accurate. We're gonna give it, uh, black wheels. And we're gonna give it a fiery red bottom. Oh, I gotta be careful what uh, logic I'm painting. Yep. <laughs> I don't want that to <laughs> multiply on my engines. Hey, Pine Gaming. We have a special block specially just for him, right? Who? The Pie Gaming? The Pie Gaming? The Pie Guy? The pie, pie Guy? Look. Do we have a block, block. Just, just for. Oh. <laughs> Bad pun, I see. So this didn't turn out as the uh, the fiery flames that I had hoped it would. What what is that? What is that block that just flew? That's pie. the pie ball. Why are you throwing pie blocks at me? Guess. We're not doing pie to the face. Oops. Why not? Hey, Smokester McPuff Puff. That's a strange name. Da 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 da. I'll I go with the um, tank. Mm. I'll give my uh, my tank some character. <laughs> oh, weren't you gonna build like the maze? I was, but then I decided to uh, make it easy on you. to know exactly how much that, that you turn like exactly 90 degrees well yeah you'll, you'll be able to tell with the walls yeah yeah or maybe some other way okay mr secretive you're taking a bit too long anyway though i'm done you're done yeah just gonna make it a little higher It's literally just a box, a box with wires. What's the problem with that? You like boxes of wires, right? Uh, well, most logic games are like that. I 
how will we know when we uh, finished? We're gonna make some noises, some tugboat hats. Yeah, maybe we could put like a like an actual uh, sensor timer thing at the start, wire it up to a sensor at the at the end, and we can and then, actually count how how long the maze took. Oh yeah, it's great great idea. Thanks, but what do you think of my uh, what do you think of my paint job? Oh god, that's great though. As yeah, long as you don't get stuck on a wall with that. that come on, come around to the, the back. Front. You gotta see the back. <laughs> Is that a creeper thingy? Creeper? No, that's a, that's uh. a, that's a butt crack. <laughs> oh my god. Where's the seat? It's right on on the you, back engine. You could fit a normal seat in here, I think. Yeah. But I'm not gonna be able to fit AI in there now. Afterwards. Am I? True, true. But uh, I can remove the let's seat see yours. when let's I see. need let's, AI. Let's see. Yeah, but when you remove your seat, your thing's gonna go flying. Um. Yeah. But same with your. You need a roof. All right. Was that your secret plan to use the sun to see if you turn ninety degrees? Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you need a roof. Alright. Well, I'll close it up, but when not. Or maybe I can use a controller. I'm gonna use a controller and some bearings. What, so you can open it whenever you want? Yeah. Alright, just open it. Um... Oh, oh, so you can, uh... Oh, hey, Noah, thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the donation, man. Glad to see you. you're back. What mod? Mod pack 0 0.3.0. It's not released currently. No, well, it's going to be. Soon. It's going to be the mod pack that's on the workshop. A lot of people get confused when you say, uh, when I say even, um, uh, mod pack 0 0.3. Like it's a new mod that's on the workshop that they have to subscribe to. Chances are you're already subscribed to the mod pack. Uh, these are just mm -hmm. new parts that are gonna. We're we're gonna update the mod pack. Uh, to have all this stuff in it. Yeah. We still got a lot more work to do though for the mod pack beta. For this mod. Uh, for these new parts as well. Aw, oh, come on dude. You gotta put... Okay, come on. Okay, let, let me just add one thing to this. Faint. Yes, but... Uh, no, no, close it. Close it up. Oh. Okay, I gotta. Is it possible to buy a server to get better performance? Well, the game FPS and performance would be better for you if you buy a server where um, Scrap Mechanic runs on, but it would be pretty expensive and probably not a great idea. Um. Well, you can also have a friend hosting Oops. it. My internet's pretty decent. But I guess it sort of depends on your internet to be able to connect to me. Yeah, it's also, of course, the internet. No, really get, you, you bring it death back down. Yeah, I just want to get out. Yeah, I think, uh, I think we'll just have to do that. Maybe dark red. Ooh, red, red racer. Yes. Isn't there some movie with uh, with a red racer or something? Um, I don't know. What's this arm thing? It's easy to get on top of the vehicle then. Oh, <laughs> okay. Man, you've got a you you've got a thick boy right here. I could probably make another arm on the other side. A little bit better. And then paint them another color. You should also, uh, you should also hold on, hold on. One more block out. 
So you can do this and there you go. Now he's giving a thumbs up. <laughs> what? How is that a thumbs up? Oh, like that. Yeah. Maybe oh, a I'm slightly... Not make... Oh, it's a bit sticking out, isn't it? Oh, you're you're afraid you're gonna get stuck. Come on, it's yep. worth a thumbs up. Right, guys? <laughs> <laughs> right, guys? These paint designs are worth a thumbs up? Intent. <laughs> Uh, let me do my subtle hints with extra subtlety. Alright. Um. Hey, Manju Mac. Uh. So be sure that you don't have any uh, walls further than 90 blocks or 99 yeah yeah if you want to go ahead and hop in my vehicle look at the front sensor it should be uh yeah it should be less than 99 i'm pretty sure yeah 86 currently it was really like barely making it uh 86 yeah barely what? Oh! I just saw a shadow pass over me. I got really scared that that was your vehicle about to hit me. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's gonna hit us. Just looking up at the sky is like in paranoia right now. Mm hmm. Maybe I, I want to put a roof over my entire maze. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Alright, um. I think I'm gonna have a, a, a U-turn here. What's in the sky? Well, early in the stream, uh, my vehicle, I removed the seat by accident and the block freaked out and caused a lot of power to go into the uh, the actual engines and somehow it flew up in the sky. It's gone now. One of uh, Brent Batch's past creations became a flying death machine. <laughs> if it hits you, you're gone. You're a goner. I can do it myself. It's, yeah, it's... try not to make your maze too complicated. I'm basically doing like two or three paths. Maybe that split off once or twice. That's about it. Yeah, I'm gonna make it too difficult because well. Or you can make it like really, really open. Just a bunch of walls everywhere, but really it doesn't matter where you go because it <laughs> there's like 80 different solutions. Yeah, you can do that too, of course. so close man what it almost was so close it almost hit you i'm gonna save my my frog tank before <laughs> that thing comes in and takes it away from me same it's a russian roulette machine now <laughs> belgium roulette machine 
Yeah. All right. My maze is coming along really nicely, I think. Mm. Same here. I hope. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> that optimism. So, taking all bets, who do you think is going to uh, win? Okay, wait, who do you think is going to get the faster time on both mazes? Like, the average faster maze we're gonna solver. Take average times? Well, we're going to time, like, if we, you know, how we do our own races, and then we're going to time how we do each other's races. If I do mine fast, uh, but you do yours faster, and then we do each other's... Well, no, because it depends. I, if that... mine is longer, then of course I will take longer times to... No, 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 no. All that matters is the yours. relative time. Because if, if you do yours and then I do yours, we see who does it faster. Ah, okay. Okay, yes. Yes. Hey, Chris Kepman. <laughs> what a silly question to ask my chat. Of course they're what? saying me. Watch. That's a question. <laughs> Who's gonna oh. do better? <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, uh, that's funny. Audio Fox, you came to my channel to see my review on the dev blog. Now you see it. Yeah, dude, did you see that video? I I thought it was a really good dev blog. Much better than dev blog 14, where I actually said it sucked. Yeah, last level up was pretty awesome. I hope we get these parts soon. What do you think? They said that we're going to get um, the explosive barrels next update, but I don't know what that means. Next update could be like version 0 0.4 for all we know what they mean by that. Hmm. I hope it I hope that's not the case though. It's going to be an easy maze, I think. Well, you should try and make it a little bit easier, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure my maze has a, a specific strategy to it that makes it easier. Going left the entire time. Going right the entire time. Yeah. Well, that's how you build an AI-solving robot. But there are yeah, still some AI mazes is... that... Um, don't the work. AI solvers are gonna take so long. <laughs> so long. Yeah, that tells me uh, quite a bit about um, your maze. Well, it's a challenge. <laughs> no, I just mean like um, how you're structuring it, I think. All right, let's get uh, get another turn in here because I have to. And that should be just about it for my maze. Oh my god. I just saw your what? vehicle. <laughs> it landed right next to my maze. It, it is gonna hit us sometime. Why? Why though? Oh, we're right in the middle of the map. I don't... Maybe that's why. It bounces yeah. off the walls and this is the, uh, the most likely place to hit. Probably. Alright. Let's get this uh, wall extended. And I 
think uh, I think that's it. Almost done. I think that's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set up a sensor. Um, just a regular sensor, I think, is good enough for this. Uh, and then a counter. Oh my god, this is truly a trap. <laughs> oh my god. You see, you're even setting up traps. Like, that's not... That's... You're... You're setting us up for failure. This is gonna be awful. <laughs> nah. It'll be fine. Yeah. Do you know how hard it is gonna be to pilot these vehicles? Very hard. But I got a special setup. Anyway, let's set up the the, uh, the counters. Just put it in front of the green. Yeah. On this wall right here. Boom. Oh, in front of the green. Or on the other side too. I guess you'll have to set it up on an and or gate. Or gate? And gate? Or gate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that height is good. Uh, I'm gonna put it up one higher, actually. Just so that I don't accidentally trigger it by doing a wheelie. Because I'm gonna put it on switch mode. That way it will just uh, start counting up the counter. Yeah, but what if my vehicle... Hmm. No, okay, yeah. Switch mode is actually really, really good. Mm. Or maybe just a set, a reset thingy? I, I don't, I don't know exactly what you mean. Like, uh, using some memory and using set and reset? Well, d build it and uh, let's see how it works. Mm. Actually, I'm gonna start building mine and then I'll do a quick example, see if it works good. Because then you can just reset to the, the sensor and the counter at the end. So I don't know, I don't know what the big deal is. Mm. Um, I'm also gonna take a math block and do modulus. 40. Ma modulus 40? Why? Oh, you're gonna use a counter. Yeah, yeah. For, for, yeah. So it's gonna measure in seconds. Um. block there we go we want this one to be white put those value in there I take the modulus of 40 and we display that out here so this will measure seconds so we probably don't need that many digits I'm gonna keep it to four digits just in case Never know. Never know how long this is gonna take. Well, what the hell? Alright, so this is my timer. So I'm gonna go. Oh, oh, I also need to stop it. Um. Ooh. Ooh. I'm using ooh. tick buttons for that. No, no, because you need to stop it when uh, when you hit a sensor at the end. Yeah, so what I need I'm to do is memory put um, an XOR gate There we 
There we go. So instead of the sensor... Oh my god, I have to run back and forth. Instead of the sensor I mean, triggering... Without the icons, it's pretty annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, do you know why the developers aren't fixing that yet? No idea. It should have been fixed. Are there any tricks to have a part with multiple output connections? The same way you can have multiple input connections using colors. Um... Well... When there are updates... Just build your... Sorry, go on. Um, someone's asking to have some kind of trick. So you can do set active on the output connections, but that doesn't work. You'll want these connections, the outputs, to actually grab the power value of their parent and then decide what they become. Like how we do the readouts. Readouts actually grab the value and do it based on that. Right. So somebody in my chat is saying uh, when the when the mod pack finally updates, uh, we should do a challenge to have viewers build creations to solve these mazes. Oh. We'll make sure to uh, disconnect yes. them from the ground and save them. We'll put them on the workshop. Mm -hmm. All right. So now it's time for me to test my timer thing. It'll measure in seconds. All right. I'm gonna make you know it what? real big for you, so it, uh, you have a lot of time. I should also. Uh, I should also add some decimal places. I think, just for precision, just in case we're like uh, tied. Oh yeah, true. Which I doubt is gonna happen at all ever, but. Uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. The um, divide by forty. Are you gonna do that with the um, with switches or just the memory gate? What? I already have it well, with the uh, switch and a number block. Ah. Okay, so which is also useful for me because I'm gonna do uh, forty divided by sixty. Um, wait, what? What am I doing? What am I doing? I guess I'm just doing the, the counter divided by 60. Putting that into decimal places. Right. Five digits for the seconds will be enough, right? That's a long time. Yeah, that'll be more than enough. You know, like 300 seconds uh, seconds is like five minutes, right? Uh, damn. Yeah, that's long. Okay, so we want... A bot with one sensor and a couple of logic gates that can solve the correct maze. That's actually pretty impressive. What? Like, someone made a bot with one sensor which can save a maze. Uh, solve a maze. It's pretty impressive. Yeah. Yeah, definitely some smart cookies out there. Oh god, delay. Delays are really hitting me. Do I not have a math block? Where's my math block? There it is. Can I? Okay, cool. I can still carry that without uh, worrying about the color. Um. Wait a second. I think I need this one to be white. There we go. Yeah, that changes my order of operations. Okay, cool. So we want this divided by 60. And we're going to put that into these right here. 
I hope that's uh, the right way to do it. I don't know if it is. Divided by 60, why? Oh no, I'm not dividing by 60, I'm, I'm doing... Two? No, no, what I wanted to do the timer at the end. So just go ahead, uh, trigger it, and then it's walk gonna, back this way. It's gonna start multiple times with you, because no, it's you, not. Have that tongue, you have that tongue, and it's... Oh, never mind, never mind. It's yeah. not, okay, so just trigger the sensor and walk back this way. No, 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 you did, you did a bad, you did a bad. Just trigger the sensor, not twice. Just walk in front of the sensor and come back this way. Oh, okay. There you go. There we go. Oh, come around this way. Oh, you want me to, uh... All right, all right. What, you thought you were gonna get the opportunity <laughs> to cheat? So it's counting... What the hell? This is not right. <laughs> this is not right. Yeah, it's not wrong. Uh... It's mod, mod. It's not modulus forty, is it? No, it's divided by forty. This is modulus. Yeah, you want to divide. There you go. Now it's in seconds. <laughs> okay, so now you reach the end here. See this end sensor? Oh, I think I have the same mistake. Boom. Boom. You trigger the end sensor and you, you the timer stops. And you click this to right. reset. Um, well, wouldn't you want some noise so you know you're at the end? Or just... No. Because you're driving off. You yeah. Notice. Why not? Right. Well, <laughs> why do you... Do um, you don't... Do you, you want to, like, a... Dur, 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 dur? Yes. Nah, I don't know. Um. Find the modulus. Yeah, this, is this one, but there's somehow... a, a bunch at on top. Oh wait, I think. No. Why don't you just build a little thing like I did? Super simple. Oh wait 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 I got it, I got it just gotta paint this white <laughs> Now you have the same issue right Um It is dividing by sixty why is it not You're no you're trying to do the, the decimal place just don't just don't do the decimal places just do seconds Just do seconds uh, yeah, I want to get these mazes started. Remember, right. we have a lot more to do. Keep it, keeping it simple. So, just get rid of this shit. It's not shit. It's crap. Yeah. Um. This one should work though. So I got a counter on this side, which starts when the button starts but you want to start so, it with the sensor well I can hook the sensor to this button and then the you can hook the sensor to the tick button yes oh my god I forgot about that feature about the tick button see that's that's where I'm useful <laughs> anyway and the other <laughs> one okay. stops it and then over here we divide it up um Again with Duff instead of Durf. This is not. This is Scrap Mechanic, not The Simpsons. I think that's uh, autocorrect. People in chat having autocorrect mm -hmm. issues. Can we see if this is actually 40? Yeah, that's actually 40. And then we make a readout. Not with that. Mm. This will be enough, right? By the way, um, with your maze, you can cheat by driving backwards at the start. Or one of you rotate around. Pretty sure the other person's going to uh, keep an eye to prevent that cheating. Oh, one person's gonna watch when the other one does it. Yeah, obviously. All right. You wouldn't right. want to watch? No, of course. Yes, that's great, actually. 
In case you didn't know what I just set up right now, I'm timing how long you're taking to actually set up your timer. <laughs> oh god damn it. In all honesty, I have half the timer set up already just by putting this thing down. Come on, what the Derek, put a bot head on top, please. On top of uh I don't get it. Why is it doing that? I'm dividing this number by Oh top of this? I see what's wrong. The tick button was um no the the counter was ti uh, counting with way too many digits because the thing was not was painted. The input was painted. Oh, you made this the wrong thing. There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why not? Let's uh, let's Why hook it up to uh, this one that's faster. If we really want noises, then we should hook them up here. Oh, that's too fast. Okay. No, but now, so now it doesn't look like a bot. It stops, when it stops, it, uh, it'll make noise. All right, Brent, are you done your timer? Can we yes. get started? Yes. All right, let's get started. I'm gonna go race. I'm gonna go maze race. Race the maze. Uh, let me just attach the timer. Who's gonna start? You're gonna start in my maze. All right. Uh, let me just hook it up with a sensor and stuff. I'm gonna reset everything and make sure it's all set to go. Yeah, that's really important. Uh, Wait a second, since I'm dividing by 60, I could do the decimal places now. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Wait a second. Will you both do it simultaneously? Simultaneously? No. No, 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 no. We want to, uh, cause like one person's gonna have. I don't want to say boring footage. But the other person will be able to see from the other perspective, which will be pretty useful. Yeah, it, it would be different than. So you probably want to have both streams open at this point, to see if, yes. uh, to see. Brent's perspective when I'm doing the rate the maze and uh, my perspective when Brent's doing the maze All right, I'm gonna test my thing again real quick just to see if the decimal places work as they should All Right everything works for mine too Set reset and so on. Oh a vehicle came by again it Came to say hi <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh, six way. Seconds, point six nine nine. That's pretty uh, fast. Well, I, I ran through it hopping over the walls. It was just a lot of six nine that I, you know I wanted to point it out. Giggity. Mm-hmm. Right. Um. Mm -hmm. Did I not? There we go. I think I have it all set. Reset to zero. Let's make sure that sensor's off. The last sensor, or the first sensor over here is also off. Okay, good. Good, you're good to go. Start in the green square. All right. Like this, right? It's not triggering the sensor yet? No, right, no it's good. not. All, All right. right. So whenever you're ready, uh, feel free to just go, and I'll tell you if uh, you had a false start. All right. Um, 
preparing mentally for this. Prepare. Look okay. Left, look right. Everything works. Honestly, I this is gonna be such a hard <laughs> thing to do. So good luck, man. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Go. Good start. Just gonna check my sides. Oh, um, I did bump into something, didn't I? No, no. No wait. No, no. 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 Oh god. You didn't miss a turn though. Did I? Well, it's okay. There's still I'm more. Right against the wall. I'm just gonna smack this wall a bit. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, man. Oh, I'm really close to a wall on the left side. Right. Got some space to go forward. Oh, stuck on something. 88 on the right. Somehow. That's the start of the maze. Right. Smacked against something. There's space on this side. Are you stuck? No, I'm just... Oh, am I again against something? Yeah, yeah, you're against something. On the left, isn't it? Oh wait, yeah, there's a wall, okay. So I'm gonna turn like this. Fill this value, oh. You're not watching my stream, are you? No. I got really, really accurate values, actually. Uh-huh. I'm kind of curious if, uh, how good that thing is to pilot. Oh, damn, what the? Wait, am I steering back now? I think I did a full turn or something. Well, there are some U-turns in my like maze, it. but uh, I'm not, I'm not sure where you want to go exactly. You're hitting against it under the wall now. Right. Oh, the anticipation! What do all the sensors do? They act, Brent Batch is in first person right now. He can't actually see what's going on. Except for whatever mm -hmm. the sensors are reading out for him. So that's what the sensors are, are doing. They're just letting him know what the distance is from where he is. Right, so on the right, it's about. You know, that's this. That should be alright. Ah, oh, you hit a corner. Just barely. You were turned a little bit too. You were almost lined up straight, but then you turned a little too much. Anyone in chat has an idea which way I have to go? <laughs> well, they're obviously watching my stream too, so... You're looking for cheating. You're Okay, you're, you're making some good progress again. Right. Oh god, the, 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 the flipping up... This is really annoying, actually. Yeah. Your vehicle's also, like, super wide. You, you, I, I think uh, you've been turning too much, though. Every time you turn, it's too much. Hmm. Like, you're always diagonal when you try going forward again. There you go. There you go. This is the most progress you've made so far. Hehehe, <laughs> that thumbs up. Right, let's go. Fuck. <laughs> you were, again, tilted just a little bit too much and you nicked the corner. Oh, what of... Come on, where's that? Oh, 
Well, for a quick build, this is not too bad. Whoa, you're going over the wall. <laughs> uh, here, let me reset you to where you were. Or not. <laughs> okay, you're good, you're good. Oh god, I have no idea which way to go. I could be walled this way, but... Well, uh... I'm gonna go check on your time. A lot. But you probably <laughs> know. <laughs> it, uh... You're already five minutes in. It's not too bad. Five Come minutes on. isn't too bad. Yeah, you're stuck on the wall. You gotta reverse a little bit. Yeah, I... I I'm totally oh, oh there you go. You got it. You got it. You got it. I want two tries, though. You want two tries? Yes. Well, maybe after... Maybe after we're done. This is your... For, <laughs> this is your first official try. <laughs> oh, you're so close. Oh, no, 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 a little more, a little more. Oh, <laughs> you almost had it. You're, Fish. you're. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So the problem is you turned while you were doing that. Oh, God. <laughs> good, good, good. No, you're good, you're good. You're back on track. Did too much, too much, too much. You're hitting the walls too much. God, I need to slow down these engines or something. Or maybe you just need a tongue out in front so that you stop yourself from rolling up the walls. <laughs> Where am I even stuck? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, uh, it's funny because you're just driving in a corner and then you're asking how are you even stuck? Like it I'm I'm sure I'll be just as entertaining for you. On my left display, I see sometimes 34, but then when I... Yeah, because you're when you turn, uh, you go diagonally with the sensors into the wall, and it'll be a shorter distance, right? 34? Yeah, 34 is... Uh, about the distance, yeah. Again, every time you turn around like that, you're turning, like you're overturning, and then you point yourself into a corner, and then you hit the corner like you just did, but it's fine. It's fine. You, you, you slid past that corner. Too much turning. Again, too much turning. You're making great progress, though. Sure. No, you're you serious? Serious? You're making great progress. What? Same. It's not the same. same. Same on both sides. It's not the same. It was exactly the same number on both sides. You did it! Holy crap. Final Finally. time. <laughs> Almost 10 minutes. No, this, this way. Seriously? This way. This. No, don't trigger your... Oh, god damn it, Brent. Oops. You just added That's a couple right. seconds to your time. Oh, well. <laughs> it won't, it won't Why would you jump all. back into the maze? You just got out of that hellhole. I just want to see. Alright, so the path that you took was obviously the short path. You're lucky. You're lucky you took the short path. Wait, so I was... Which, which way exactly? Can you trace it back? Backwards? No, because you want a second turn, so you're not going to get another luck. Let's go uh -huh. do your maze. Right.
You do. Wait, don't we do anything turns? with the timer. Shouldn't we take turns? So you don't do you anything do with the timer. No, no, I'm not doing anything. Okay, because I'm uh, marking down your time. All right. You gonna do it now? No, I'm gonna do your maze. Take yours. Oh. What, me or you? I'm gonna do your maze. Alright. Just jumping over real quick. Just sort of path. Shortest path. Anyway. Yes. Okay, so I'll reset this timer. Uh, can you step in front of the sensor and make sure it's off? On the front? My sensor? No, 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 my sensor. On the oh. start of my maze. Just make sure that the sensor's yeah. off. Uh, just one second. And it's... Wasn't... There you uh, go. The range is... Uh, right. The range is enough for a vehicle. Not mm -hmm. to um, not to be triggered by the wall. Okay. Yeah. Let me quickly check if the, uh, the timer is reset. Do I All need right. to test to make sure if your timer's working? Well, oh, um, yeah, just, just come to the back. To the back? No, go around, go around, go around. I'm going around. All right. So, as you can see with the wires, the front, front sensor. It took you this, this many ticks to, <laughs> to finish your no, timer? No, 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 I, no, 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 I just reset that. Anyway, uh -huh, um, uh -huh. as any any of the sensors on the front trigger, this one will be triggered. It can be triggered multiple times so that you don't get a false start. Okay. As you can see. And then when you get to the end, this one will trigger stopping it and no false end. So we cannot add any seconds to the end. And uh, it was just like uh, between two and three seconds that you added to yours. It's not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think uh, right. I think there's gonna be like a huge difference in times. I don't know which probably. way. I, yeah, I don't know which way, but it's probably gonna be. Uh, it's probably gonna be the deciding factor is probably not gonna be two or three seconds. It's probably gonna be like a minute. Yeah. Anyway, you let's reset. Go. Okay, I'm ready to yes. go. Alright. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oops. Let's get my connection tool out of there. I'm <laughs> There we go, I'm having trouble getting on. Alright. There we go. I'm ready. Right, ready? Uh there we go. Follow camera. Okay. Follow cam? You're yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, it makes it easier for me to why would I not do follow cam? No, no, do it. It's alright. So I can look out the back? No, I want to see my right. uh, I want to see my things. All right, all right. You can go. All right. So we got uh, eight, four, and thirty-seven. No, I think I'll just uh, hug the right wall for now. All right. What the? Hmm. My. For my reading read uh, negative at one point. Negative? Yeah, it was weird. What? It was weird. 52? 31? To the, back, to the back or, or what? 52. For the left no, no, side. Can... Yeah. That seems to be... Also? Okay. Okay, still more on the right. Oh. Okay, there's an opening there. I'll uh, tell you when you get stuck. Wait a second. Is that 27? Yeah, there's still space in front. Let's keep going. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm trying to see what's uh, what's happening on the right side. It's really hard to get like an idea of how far I'm moving. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, no, no, no. This is actually... I, I noticed something. I think I passed a tiny wall. A tiny Maybe. wall. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe it was something different. That seems like a, a right turn to take. You totally skipped uh, the little piece though. Like, would you want to skip something? Uh, uh, I don't know uh, why I would want to skip something. Kind of stuck though. Kind of stuck though. Holy crap, I'm seeing some weird shit. Yeah, you're, you were hitting a wall. Where? Okay, so I'm in front of a wall right now. Yes, wall. A tiny wall. Like, like, uh, when you pass that one. Remember? Uh, I'm hitting the one that I passed? No, the other one. Another one. But, um, it's like the one you passed. Okay, am I... Am I even going anywhere right now? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're going some direction. Sixty-four? What am I looking at? Why, why is it that I look... Okay, never mind. Yeah, this, right, where, right now where I'm looking, my front sensor is sensing sixty-four. Um, yeah, that's possible. That it doesn't will seem will right. Be bigger than, uh, it will never be bigger than... Uh, Jeez, 90, that though. doesn't seem right. Alright, we'll just keep going then. Fifty-seven. Jeez, that doesn't seem right either. Now it says well, thirty-one. Now it says... Honestly, I should have just made a small, uh, a smaller vehicle. Just um, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a hint in like a second or so, if you need it. Ah, uh... you're almost gonna hit a wall. Well, you'll see it when you take one more turn. Yeah, you'll see it now. And then there's a dead end. Right. Yes. You're not aligned with the grid, and now you are. Well, almost. Yeah, no, I can I can line myself up. Oop, oop. I can line myself up pretty good, though. All right. How okay. How long is Durf gonna take? Any guesses in the comments? <laughs> what do you mean? Are you gonna break the limit time? So I'm actually I would uh, stop there. Yeah. I'm actually close Just... to the end then. Yes. Um, I want to be about here, I think. Yeah. Right. Yeah. About like maybe you no know, another ten seconds and you'll want to align yourself to the grid now. Um uh, looking in a corner. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be uh, way too long. So uh, I'm actually uh, close to the end? Pretty much. Cool! Oh my god. You took some really lucky turns, man. Some really lucky. Well, so did you in my and maze. Took... Well, yeah, it was just stick to the left and that was it, basically. That's the only rule I did. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, 
that's um that's the left wall. Yeah, just, yes. Oh, so close. Is that it? So close. You'll hear a noise and just about Oh. Well, yeah, you're you're looking at the uh there you go. Oh my god, I actually did it. <laughs> I did not think you would make it. Holy. Oh, that is a different experience. I know, right? But like, so wait, we're... Uh, okay, no, so well... Um, over here, you took a really lucky turn. I don't want to do this maze again, so show me where I went. <laughs> <laughs> so basically over here, well... the. the going forward yep. is of course good then over here you were really lucky to um to take the second one over here oh okay really lucky and then um wait let me just did i go yeah, around okay. this way yeah you went around the whole way and then almost went back but no you went uh, this way again oh my here <laughs> got stuck here okay and then you wanted to finish so. All right, let's see my time. Wow, okay. It's, it's the 9,597, right? <laughs> no, no, it's the one on the, on the top. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so my only hope then is for you to do worse on your own maze than I did. Which is quite possible to do, so... Yes, it's, it's a really quite possible so uh you were really reset the clock lucky. and uh you do your maze yes oh my god you ready for this <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> why did i make it so hard i'm gonna remove this tons of blue this, I, I, I have the feeling i was bumping into walls with that you were a little bit, but uh, it wasn't. That wasn't the main issue. The main issue was actually your wheels rolling up the side of the walls. So what you want to do Ooh. is make uh, the bottom heavy, like this wheel guards. That's what you. That's uh, what you want. No, because then I'll be even bigger, and I'll probably bump into the wall, and then really trust me, it's better than rolling up and flipping over. I think this will be better, because then it also works. Yeah, yeah, okay. You could also just have a thing in the front then. I'm also gonna make my slower. What power were your engines on? Uh... I have to check. I think it was the fourth or fifth. Uh, the fourth line. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna take the same. I had fifth, but uh... Yeah, that, that's it. Alright. Okay, so, hold on, I'm gonna just, uh... Write it down. Yeah, just setting up the, uh, the, the doc, the text file that I have. Twelve minutes, someone says. That's... Seven hundred something seconds. Oh, oh, yeah. Those are special sensors? Yeah, let me, uh, see my chat right now. Um, yeah, so we're working with uh, special mod pack parts. The sensors give a very specific range. Your timer is reset. Okay, cool. Uh, so let me walk back. Yes. I'll show you how the sensor works really briefly. And then we built uh, little robots, tanks, with uh, tank steering with single bearings, like WASD converters and stuff. It's really awesome. But uh, they ha we have sensors that, like this that gives us the distance uh, very specifically. We can see how far we're going and stuff like that. Can I just uh, hop sure. in your, your vehicle real quick? Sure. I just want to see what uh, what you're looking at. Sure. God damn it. Boing. Yeah, I'm making it. Okay, so you're seeing like decimal places too. Yep. And are you taking the average of all of the uh, sensors? Yes, I'm taking the average of all the front sensors, all the average of the- How does that help? Well, honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> like, all you did was made one wide, fat sensor. Yeah, basically. 
Oh, even the back? You even have it in the back. Yes. Huh. Okay. <sighs> Honestly. What? I don't know. You're not happy with I your... <laughs> You're not happy with your red no. thick boy? It's Elmo, right? Elmo? Elmo? From... The Puppets or something? Sa yeah, Sesame Street. Alright, yeah. Alright, let's go. Tickle me creep, Muppet. Yeah, you started. Better get going. Yep. I mean, you know your maze better than, uh... Better than I do. Alright, that should be a perfect 90 degree turn. <laughs> you definitely are turning a little bit better. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying the no trick, but uh, I'm not sure how it will work out. Oh, here's the the wall on the right. Should should have passed it now. Oh, what the hell is happening? What? Okay. Yeah, I know my game is freaking out or something. Oh. Oh, okay. And check. <laughs> Brent's build is Ugandan Knuckles. It's sure. funny because he's looking for the way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what is happening? Oh, I'm sticking on the left. Right. I'm on the wall now. So let's rotate left. I guess. I hope. Did you forget your own I'm maze? I'm already dis disoriented. Yes, I totally <laughs> forgot. Uh, oh my god. I'm so I, uh, you're already You're already doing much start. better. You're already doing much better than me. Trust me. I think I'm doing like exactly the same as you do. No, no, no. No, no, you, you're already significantly farther in a faster time. And the wall in... Oh! Oh, I'm hitting the left wall. Okay, that makes sense. It's a 90 degree turn. Come on. I calibrate this with the numbers. You're using the camera really... I think it was smart to get the 90 degree turns. Yep. But uh, the way I do it, I just pay attention to what the number was before and then I make sure that number shows up on the new sensor. Mm. Oh god, I'm disoriented. I'm sure you'll get it. I know it's uh, f like... I, I don't know, stressful or, or panicky to um, to think like uh, like when you're in there, when you, it's so hard to see where to go. Yeah, it's it's hard to keep track in your mind or something. And like some people do this for like a living. What? Where are you, where are you going? Oh, you're good. Just going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell is that? <laughs> um, 15. Oh god, if I am where I think I am, um, I need to pay a really close attention. There, if the smart thruster is basically the same system, you can do the AI flyer that goes through a 3D maze. Oh no! <gasps> Holy shit, we totally have to do that. No, we don't.
Am I doing okay or? You're doing way better than I did. All right. I think I'm gonna do better on my second try in your maze as well. Just because I have this this trick. Uh huh. You're probably, gonna, you're probably checking my stream too, aren't you? No, I'm not. What do you mean too? Yeah. You have my stream pulled up then. You just admitted to it. No. Yeah, you just no, admitted to it. I was gonna. I was gonna. Uh huh. You was gonna. You heard it here first, folks. Brent cheated. No. Yep. Boom. There we go. He said two. You heard it. He said you have my stream pulled up too. That means he Dude, automatically no. assumed that not only that I was cheating, which I'm not. <laughs> no. <laughs> that he has. Honestly, no. I didn't. I didn't. You. Not. You just admitted to it. No, I do not. Honestly, no. I'm not. I'm not kidding. I'm not. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. In all seriousness. Seriousness. <laughs> your stream open. Uh, all right. All right. Let's let's get uh, let's get on to my my maze. We're gonna try this shenanigans. Did you write the number down? Yes. I'm just gonna make sure my uh, maze is uh, reset and ready to go. All right. Zero. Good. Good stuff. Uh, uh. Let's uh, uh. quickly walk in front of the sensor to, uh... <laughs> Why? What's it? Seconds. Did I? No, just check it. Just, 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 just get it. No, I didn't. I didn't, you liar. <laughs> you liar. Anyway. Whoa, I Careful. almost did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. That's the thing I was warning you about. Don't walk in front. Anyway. Alright, I am ready. Stick to the left wall. By the way, I'm gonna open some music. Go, yeah. yeah. Okay, ready, set, go. All right. Now you'll want to take a right turn here. Not. Do you think I don't know my own maze? Yeah. Well, you probably do, because it's just sticking to the left wall. And about the stream thing, if you really want to be sure, I can show you my uh, search history and everything. What? Um, the, uh, I just want to tell you, I did not cheat. Oh my god, Brent. <laughs> you got I caught. Any, I, you I just, <laughs> no, I didn't. I want, I want uh, to make that sure is nobody too funny. thinks that, because it's not true. It's not true. I did not. Oh, for fuck's sake, that stupid <laughs> meme. Uh. I just know my mace outside my head, okay? What if I were to edit your mace now? You'd be a dick. <laughs> I'm not gonna. He's probably notice anyway. Let's check the timer, actually. Right, I'm counting. Don't mess with it. No, no, no. Well, anyone can see, so... Shine my vision, please. I didn't. Alright, I feel like this is going really well. Well, there's only one way, so... No, I could have taken that uh, right turn like you told me to. <laughs> well, trying to sabotage. Also, that would have also been a way, but... Uh, you're trying to sabotage the competition because you're scared. 
maybe. I think we're just gonna be better in our own mazes anyway. Got All it. All right, there you go. Oh, I. Yeah, you triggered it twice. You're adding seconds. You're adding multiple seconds. Poof, quickly. I did. Oh, no, wait. Oh, okay. It Jeez. Needs to be on. Okay, okay. Freaking me out. <laughs> All right, so I got 187.3. I'm not removing any of the extra seconds that I added because it's still an amazing time. True. All right, so what I'm going to do That'd now is I'm going to get. Uh, uh, I guess the total for both people. You did better um, on your maze. I did better on my maze. Mm -hmm. But my maze is also shorter. Need, I think we both need a second try or something. Hold on. 187. No, because now we're doing the AI stuff. The AI, the will AI be, stuff? Yeah. All right. So 187 plus... 763 that is 950 for me Four. Damn. now Brent you have 304 plus, plus. 540 which is 844 oh my god that's really close actually you took Almost uh, a little bit over a hundred seconds. I think 106 seconds less in total. But now what I want to do is uh, measure the difference between um, individual mazes. So like ah. 304 minus 187. Uh, you did. 117 seconds worse on my maze than me. And? And? and How did you do on mine? 223 seconds worse. Well. I think that settles it, folks. Brent is a lucky, lucky cheater. <laughs> oh, <fuck's sake>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Your maze is fairly simple, though. It's like sticking to the right, uh, left wall. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, you could trigger the back one, and you'll trigger the front or something. Why? I'll just uh, to reset it. You still have to reset it after triggering it. So, do the thing. Yeah, it's, it's reset. There you go. All right. So, uh, how long have I been streaming for? A couple hours. It's not too bad. But uh, do you actually want to do the uh, the AI thing? I want to try, but it's probably it's probably best that we try it on your maze. The AI thing would not turn out great on mine. There's you no built good no. Way. You built your maze. You built your maze. You got to build an AI for it. <laughs> There's no AI that can solve this maze. Sure there is. It's... No, it's not possible. Yeah, no, it's definitely possible. It is definitely possible. Just hug the right wall and you got you got it out. Okay, the the right wall does work, but it, it's You it's... can hug the left wall. No, you can't. Yeah, you can. You'll no, look. If yeah, you, you can hug the left hug... wall. No, look. If you hug Oh, if you start left. Okay, yeah, yeah, that works too. Yes, okay. But if you start forwards and you go forwards and then you hug the left wall, then you're stuck in an infinite loop. See? <laughs> oh, you almost got kicked out of your maze. You did. I, I wanted anyway. to jump out, actually. Thanks. Uh. Um. Do you want to try uh, driving each other's cars in my maze? <laughs> 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 well, why not? Why not? Yes. And you'll try mine then. And I'll try yours. Hold on. Uh, 
I was making a thing the other day. The, the, the other day mm -hmm. being earlier today. Oh, let's catch right. that before it goes away. Maybe not set up to the... Oh. Uh... Alright, so I found an interesting thing about this. Uh, ignore some of the uh, cyan logic gates. They're not really important. Mm -hmm. The down button's up and the up button's down. That's not supposed to be that way. Oh, Is that oh. supposed to go to 20 hives? Uh, 205 hives? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh, no. What happened there? Good question. Oh, it detected, it detected the maze, didn't it? I don't know why it would. It's not supposed to lean. No, it stopped going away! <laughs> no. You want it back? Yeah. You have it? Yeah. Don't- No! Oh, Duh. Brent. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay, reset this white I potentiometer here. Let's take take it off your lift. Okay, you yeah, did. Ah, uh, let's bring it over here. Okay. Ah, uh, you might need to take a seat. Mm, it can handle that weight. Alex B, can the pose weight be any value? No, it can be only between 0 and 1. Alright, we're going up. Apparently it can't take that weight. Nope. Just try not to stand on top of uh, any I think it's logic because gates. you're using min. No. No, 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 no. Oh, this might actually be the wrong version, but I don't, I don't think so. I would actually compare the values on this side and min, this side. No, no, min is a is supposed to be a limiting factor, so it's not giving too much power. Just stand over here, stand over yeah, here. Yeah, maybe it's it's limiting it Just too much. Just stand here, try not to land on any yes. logic gates to give the collision some stupid stuff. Got it. Yes. All right. We're going up. So this will be 180 blocks exactly. That is weird. Why this sensor well, right it? at your feet isn't working? That's really strange. Maybe there's something, some blocks below it or something. No, it's not zero. Did you connect it again or something? Maybe you need to reconnect it. How do, no, how do I reconnect the sensor? No. Just disconnect. We're going back down. Alright. Wow, this thing just kept going. Now I'm going to try loading in one of my old, uh, older versions. I think versions. the sensors are broken. Why would they be because, broken? Um, well, maybe it has something to do with the value it remembers, storage. Oh, that's just great. We updated the mod and then storage changed and it cannot read the... Um, we got a, we got an issue with the uh, thruster thing. flames. Where are you? Falling. Still? Yeah, I'm here now. Um, you didn't add the, the functions? No, I did like, get, Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, I, I told you which code to paste. Ah, Brent. I'll just edit in the file and send you the file. All right. When, uh, tomorrow or something. We'll try. Uh, what was it? Thing test. I call my blueprints awesome names. Just one sec. All right, so this one should work. Just open the window because it's way too hot in here. Oh, then Ooh. I probably want to bring this back down for you. It's not going back down, is it? 
Nope. But now it is. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, because I lowered the value. Oh. We should need, um, yeah, if we do the velocity thing with um, Lord Payne's velocity meter, then uh, we can use the velocity thing to uh, our advantage. So it can do velocity minus the So I'm thing. not sure what is up with the sensors exactly. They're not working. Hmm. Let's um, get a readout on them. Something about loading this from the from the blueprint. Yeah, it's probably loading from yeah, it's because of that. So it's still you detecting zero. You need to replace the sensors again. I think Oh and okay. Alright, it's not too many connections, but I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna when turn this you, off uh, before deleting it. Then I'm gonna pull out my version 4 and then I'll redo the sensors all right if you want me to help uh hold on wait you want to connect the the block on top of it so that it doesn't fall off I no it's, what no 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 what do yeah, you if what you do you delete the sensor if you delete the sensor the block on top will be broken so you'll want to connect the block on top, so it doesn't uh, pop off when you delete the sensor. Okay. Okay. Right. So, quick check if it's still... Uh... I'll place the sensor. Oh wait, never mind. No, no, they actually don't. Yeah, I made sure that the blocks don't pop off. Yeah, that's not the issue. Oh, you want to know the connections. Okay, I know the connections. The sensor does not need simple recon uh, reconnections it actually needs to be replaced you, you don't have to tell me did you remove this one you didn't no these two are not removed i only removed the other two did you remove any i did which one the one that's firing the thruster right now oh you rem okay and the one Below you, I did not remove this one. I don't know which one you're talking about. The one I'm standing on. At the one that all the thrusters are firing, they're all good. Alright. Okay, we're good to go. Say so. Yes, we're good to go. Alright, so this thing. Uh, really interesting thing about this. Why is this saying negative eight? Does oh, oh, I'm supposed to hook up to negative. the, uh, there we go. So this is gonna take the difference, uh, this display right here that I'm standing on, this takes the difference between uh, this this sensor, which is our actual height, and this is which uh, the, the, the counter is set to. The target height. Yeah, something like that. But the interesting thing about this uh, platform that I built, the difference will always be 128. Always. Huh. So, hold on. What is it to go up? Is it white? And black to go down? Um, no. Orange and the darker orange. Right. Right, okay. You on? Don't fall off, that's too close to the edge. Alright, alright. 
So I need to set it to uh, about 128 before we start going up. And then... Seems to work. Yep, yeah, and then the more that I set it to... Uh, uh, there we go. So we got our actual height at uh, the difference between 150 and 128, which is 30, 20, 28, 28, 27, 26. Yeah. This readout here, though, um, you'll see it goes always to one. Is it 125? No, it's 124 every time. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe but I got a very consistent behavior out of this. All right. Not bad. Does it go faster the higher you want to go? That's what uh, that's what the max was for. I don't know why there's such a min now. Oh no, that's that's well, what the min is for. They, that's what the yeah min limits it so it doesn't yeah, go. Yeah, that's what the min bigger. is for. Yes. Takes You're the one that said that I needed max. Oops. No, 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 no. Yeah, earlier that's what you were saying. And that's what these colored logic gates are for. Uh, they're just hard-coded values to add onto mm -hmm. the difference value. You can use a memory gate for that. I know I can, but I'm not gonna. But I'm Amazing. not gonna. Wait, are you connecting the hard-coded values to the actual counter? Or no, something? what? It looks like... Like oh my the gosh. I need a hammer. Uh -oh. No, what, what, Brent, stop your craziness. You're crazy. Stop your craziness. All right, all right. <laughs> okay. This is how you fix it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, if you hit it too close to the edge, you're just gonna you're just gonna go way farther than than you intended. Ah. The counter is connected to the blue gate, though. Yes, I know. So it's just turning it on. That's all its yes. job is. That, right. That's all it is. It just has to be on. Okay. But only when you actually want to go up. Mm-hmm. I know it's not the smartest wiring job, but I built it real quick. And then the yellow one is connected to... It's the same thing. Pink. They're just both going into the white. Okay. Strange setup. But it works, so... It's, it a, works it's a dirty and quick setup, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, what would you do? You'd store the value oh. in a memory gate, right? Yeah, that's yeah, but that takes longer. Mm. You place four times the amount of gates, though. Anyway, it works. It's great. Only when uh, you, there's no real, like, anti-flip or something. No, no, no. So what I wanted to do was uh, add some sensors on the side, uh, pointing at 45 degree angles. And that would detect if uh, one of them... They, they basically want to equalize on all sides. Mm. And if they're not equal, then uh, they'll figure out which one's larger than or greater than and figure out which weight it needs to tip. Mm -hmm. You know, how would a gyro react with these... Um, these gates? Like the sensor? How what do you mean? Wouldn't we create a super, super accurate gyro if we did it with the uh, the sensors, the custom sensors we made? I have no idea what you're asking me. Derf, so why are there ghost flames? That's a that's a bug in the script that uh, Mr. Brent Batch over here wrote, and uh, well, we're waiting. It's... We're gonna update that. Don't worry about it. It'll be fixed. Yeah, yeah. I already wrote the fix. Uh, it just needs to be uh, uploaded and done. Yeah. But uh, you know the conventional gyros, the one by Snow Crash? No. He invented it in the beginning. Like with the, the rotating middle and then sensors to detect if it's tipping. The thing just fell to the ground. 
on my side. It definitely That's did not. Just server lag. It's just server lag. The min max is actually connected as well in line, kind of. It just limits it so that it doesn't go above a certain value. So if you have like the difference in height and you power that directly into the thrusters, it would become really high value and then the thrusters would fly off a wall. Oh, are you explaining you what the main, main is for on my... Yeah, and then... Okay, you're not talking yeah, to me. You... Well, I, if you want me, I can, I can talk <laughs> to you about the min. Uh, no, you're talking to your chat, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then if you use min, then, for example, you want the target power value, a maximum value of like 50 and then 50 into the min and then also the difference in height into the min and then if the difference in height is way bigger than 50 it'll still use 50 because you're using the function min and that way it will not uh, become too big so the the basic way that uh, these corner stuff work the corner logic it takes the uh, the value from this counter block uh, it will compare it to the value that the sensor in the corner is looking at so it, it'll check if the counter block is greater than the sensor value uh, it, this this counter block is basically what we want to do if we want to go up then uh, it'll tell the sensors we want to go up so that's what if if this counter block is greater than then it will turn on these uh, these two gates over here which uh, turns on the white gate basically it's just a, a, a number value to say uh, what is it 128 plus 32 um, 150. So it'll send a, a power of 150 to the min gate. Yes. And plus. Yeah, And then the counter block, which is our set height, the height that we want to be at, it's going into this uh, subtraction gate, which is also. So we're subtracting the difference between the counter and the sensor. And as Brent mentioned, that can get really crazy. So we're just taking the minimum value between whatever that difference is and 150. Sometimes it's uh, sometimes it's the difference, and sometimes it's 150. Never goes above 150. Exactly. Uh, it seems like you're adding 32 to the to uh, the plus. Yes, I'm also adding 32 just to make sure that you have a starting value. No, I'm adding 128. No. Oh yeah, 128, yeah. So that's like the hover trust. So if you reach the uh, the actual height that you want, it will be just 128. Yeah, I think I did that to try and fix. See like this, uh, if you look over here, the reading, the difference again mm -hmm. is just 126. So I, I tried to add another 128, but it seems like uh, no matter what I do, we always get a difference of 126 huh. between our actual height and our, our the height that we want to be at. Yeah, I don't think you want to add 128 to the plus because then it would just fly off. And that would not be... Well, we're not flying off, forward. are we? No, 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 no. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how you would fix that. Maybe someone in chat knows. Well, we could just uh, we, we could just make it um, a visual thing, like on the controls. So whatever mm -hmm. this. Uh, or you just subtract one twenty eight. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Whatever this it. whatever this uh, set height is, we just subtract one twenty eight. Make yeah. it um, never go below zero. Oh, yeah, that, that could work. Or never never below actual one twenty one twenty eight. Still accurate on big heights. You tried the really high heights also. Yeah, we can do that. It'll be a little bit of a bumpy ride up. As long as there's nothing down there that's gonna go in front of the sensor. Oh, we, yeah, true. Ah, uh, no, we're. we're it's clear. not gonna be too bad, though. Mm hmm. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, 
Bye, Brent. <laughs> I'll probably fall through the ground, though. Yep. I'll just teleport on top. If you say so. Oh, come on. Why can I not... I cannot... Okay. Um... Just don't move up or down. And uh, just don't move sideways and I'll be able to go. <laughs> okay, well, if you don't put anything under my sensors, I won't. Right. All right. I'm uh, I'm sorry I haven't been looking at chat too much. Th this is a lot of fun to play with. You guys aren't even really talking to me anyway. I'm going to scroll up in chat just a little bit to make sure. Yeah, just that question asking why they're ghost flames. I'm trying to watch Durf and my families being mean to each other. <laughs> Poor Scrapigator. Mm -hmm. And I'll teleport on top of the platform. There I am. Please upload this hover platform. Yeah. I think, yeah, I'll probably do that. Right, let's go. You know, we could probably put, um... Hmm? A switch? No, no, no. I, would, I wouldn't do a switch. No, no, no. Or you can just color the button to red or something. No, no, so no. Well. What are you doing? Oh, seats. Yes, that's actually... We're going way up. Way up. Yeah. Do you have any readout where you can see the current power value in the Zerthus? Nope. Huh. I think I also have a Hoover platform. I'm not sure if I saved it. I'll check in a second. I think I hit your lift or something. Oh. Yeah, it might be possible. You'll probably we got a little bit of a wobble. Now, though. Ah, it'll probably be clear now. Alright, this is uh it's clear to get get off now. Yep. Oh. We're still wobbling a little bit, but we should be fine. Uh oh. Uh oh, what happened? No idea. Try okay, try not to bump into the logic gates. I think that Uh I'm not sure that's gives it weird reason. physics. Anyway, I think I'm gonna check out if I still have the hover platform saved. Okay, there we go. Can compare them. We're just about we're just about flattened out now. There we go, we can walk super stable. Nice. That's actually really nice. It's tilting again, I'm not sure why. It's like you're 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 too heavy. Oh no. Oh 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 oh, oh, okay, oh no. take it on the lift, take it on the lift. No, it's too late for that. Oh god. Oh, Derf, wow. I'm lost. What is happening exactly? We got, uh, we got distracted. We got distracted. I don't think, uh, made a hammer steered hover vehicle. Yep. Oh, you're gonna go get it? Do you, do you want to try doing the AI thing? Cause like, I'm, I'm probably not gonna. Oh. Um, I'm just gonna check if I still have the hover thing. Hover platform. Oh, you know what? Oh, I put yeah. a tracker on that thing. Uh, <laughs> nice, nice, uh, nice thrusters there. Yeah. It's from before, even. I think the readout probably doesn't work. 
Um, no, sensors are also dead. Oh well. Uh -huh. Oh hey Lego Freak, did you um did you check out my hover platform? I made one. It worked pretty nicely. Uh, also people are saying to do the AI stuff. Alright then. Let's do it. I just wanna take a look real quick to see where my where my thing is at right now. Oh we can use the radar for that. Yes, that is exactly what I'm doing. Oh man, it's pretty far out already. No, wait, it's coming back. <laughs> it's coming back. Ah, uh, it's coming pretty close actually. Whoa, 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 do you see it? Yeah, it's, it's right above us now. No, 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 look behind you, I mean. Wait. There it goes. Ooh. Let's go get it. No, it's it's coming back. It's coming back. <laughs> Almost. Bye, hover platform. See it's what I told you, ground. Lego Freak? It works great. And it's off to the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna catch that. That's impossible. Well, I at least put a tracker on it so we can see our the the extent of my failure. <laughs> you gotta attach explosives to the hover platform when they come out. Oh, oh, I will. I'll be attaching explosives. You know what? I'm probably gonna... Maybe I'll start a, a series on my channel. Just be like, let's explode that thing. And I'll take a, an item from the workshop, maybe a really popular item, and I'll just strap explosives to it and then blow it up. Cause why not? Yeah. It'll be the new hit scrap mechanic TV show on YouTube. Can you explode it? <laughs> this title ever. No, the title will be um You Blow? I don't know. Cause it's all of your creations. Oh, I know. Your scrap mechanic build blows. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. If you guys have any names in uh, in chat, any name suggestions, I'll be happy to hear them. All right. I disconnected the WASD so I can safely remove the, the uh, seat. Don't you need the WASD though? Uh, oh, not WASD, I mean, but you still need the no. other gates for it. Yeah, still have the other gates. Right. AI, how will we do this? Uh, my car is pretty I'm simple. Gonna... I might give it a try. Will it blow? Whoa! See you later, hover platform. <laughs> That's two <laughs> creations that are just going around now. Wow. Um. All right, we want to get rid of these gates. Oh God. Honestly, no idea. Let's just turn them into, um... No, let's just get rid of them. Hmm? What, are you two brain dead already? Oh, the WASD, uh, converters. Yeah. Otherwise your vehicle will fly away. Where is that even? Yeah, where... Where is the vehicle even? We haven't seen it in a while. Nope. It might have left permanently. <laughs> That platform, though, it flattened out and just went straight up. Mm -hmm. You forgot to use the absolute um, 
function. Why would I need to? The, the counter is positive. You use um. Oh yeah, true. Um. I'm only dealing well, with positive the distance, numbers. If you flip upside down, the distance will be bigger, and subtracting the two values, you'll get a negative number. And minimum. I'm not subtracting the. the smallest. I'm, I'm taking the distance between uh, the intended value and. So all it's gonna do is just turn off the thrusters. It's not gonna do anything else. Oh yeah, true. It should. I don't know. I'm using gravity to go down and thrusters to go up. I so if you flip the if you flip the thing upside down, it'll probably just uh it'll mm. just turn off the thrusters. Yeah. Because you're higher than you intend to be. Mm-hmm. In the upside well, down world, that is. It did flip upside down, and suddenly the, the top of the thruster started firing the other way. So it did have a negative value of somehow. Okay, so the, the the problem is like I can I can make a robot control this thing, but I don't know how to give it instructions to like hug the left wall, for example. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of a little bit stuck with that too. It's not easy. Build BBR, build, blow, repeat. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Durf, do you think damage values for all the other blocks will come out with explosives? Yeah, I think uh, I think that's already the case. Uh, we have a quality level variable that we can change in in the the mod files. Uh, but so far, quality level one is just like breakable, like cardboard and glass. I'm not sure what quality level two is. It might require the hammer or actual explosives. No idea. How would you make it hug the left wall? And even f run straight. We need a lot of uh, logic. And that's your job. So we want mm -hmm. instructions to um, go forward until the forward distance is small enough and then <laughs> when it's small enough do a turn to the right he's, he's already saying use recursive back, back tracker to solve the maze <laughs> see how the thing speeds up i'm pretty sure that's the negative values but the it, the thrusters won't fire with negative values. The thrusters, why wouldn't they fire with negative values? <sighs> okay, I'll pull out the thing again. No, it will. Why wouldn't it? Where is it going to have negative values? Look, you have the counter value over here, which is zero at the moment. At and the moment, but it's going to be positive. On the other thing, it's yeah. going to be positive. But if it's going up now, and the height is way bigger than the number, then you'll do number, the subtracted um, and you subtract the current height from it, which will be negative. You'll post that It'll into still be the min stable, function. Though. It will be negative, and if you post that into the min function, it'll use the lowest value, and as it's smaller than 150 or whatever it is, it'll, uh, it'll use the negative value and actually fire upside down away from The thrusters are uh, the, the sensors are dead. Remember? Oh, damn it! Wait, let me just connect one over here. We just have to test one side. See? 
see what? What are you seeing? Over here. The sensor detects the ceiling. It'll yeah. go into the two blocks just like your other connections. Yeah. And if you make a readout, you'll see that the uh, the actual value going to the truster is negative. Oh, yeah. I think you just. Uh... <laughs> I think you just made it crazy on purpose to prove a point. <laughs> I just replaced one sensor, really. There look at that, go. look at that, it's fine. It landed, but once you turn it upside down, it'll go away. Like that one. Anyway, you check out the logic if you want to. No. No, no. I'm trying to figure out how to do this uh, AI thing. All right. Derf. Durf, destruction until rain falls. What? What? Rain. Rain. Did you, you guys know to... that you can induce rainfall with explosions? Oh, yes. Yes, in real life, it's possible. And in scrap mechanic. <laughs> yes. We can make, like, potato rain and stuff. All right. So we want... Hmm... We're gonna make this thing just go forward. No, I, I also need to make a circuit that lasts a little bit of time to, uh... I need a tick button with a value in it. The problem is I also need to turn... Like, I can't just turn right all the time. I may turn, have an turn idea. Right. Turn right. Turn I'm right. Not sure. Turn right. Turn right. Okay. All right. So. I can check. Yeah, I can check all three directions. Mm. All right. So we're gonna use that one. Oh. Okay. I can get most of the way there with some simple logic. Yeah, same. I'm just gonna create the, the circuit to say um, stick to this wall and uh, don't get too far off. All right, we need a um, uh, number block to replace the WASD blocks. These are going to be between uh uh How am I always putting these things the wrong way? Okay, so this one there we is go. turned left. So these are going to be between uh, negative one and one each, just like the WASD controls. Uh, now I've got to make sensors and like a timer function to actually turn a direction. So we're going to set this thing on a switch to go forward, we need a switch. That's going to be the main switch. Alright. Uh, now if the sensor on the front is less than... Okay, we need a, a math block with a comparison. Mm. 
Okay, so if that's less... Oh, oh, oh my god. Hmm. This vehicle is so small. <laughs> that's... That's all I can say right now. Okay, um... It seems like you cannot post smaller values into it. It doesn't care, really. Smaller values into what? Into the, the engines. Yeah, you can. No, but if you use small values into the power, and then power the engines with a smaller value, it will not um, use it, actually. So you can't, can't do, like, a gearbox or anything like Yeah, it. you can. No, if you do 0 0.1 and you power that into a, an, um, an engine, the, the engine will not go at 0 0.1 power. It will seal it up to 1. And if it's negative, it'll um, floor it down to negative uh, 1. Apparently. That's really stupid, actually. Wait a second. I did this wrong. I need this to be greater than. There we go. Okay, so I... I made it just go on its own. This is bad. But it's gonna stop once it gets uh, too close to a wall. Which is good. There you go. It stops within one block. That's perfect. Alright, so now how do I make this... Uh, I could disconnect this and connect it to a simple AND gate. So now this is the main switch to make it drive forward. Oh gosh. Okay. Cool. Let's try that again. Every time I put it on the left, I reset these values. That's uh, that's not smart. Not smart. Derf. Uh, so there is giraffe, and since as kind of the same derp face, it's fro. Hmm. Okay, so there we go. We got uh, we got our main power switch working. Okay, so now when this is off, let's actually turn this turn this on. That's strange. So I'm gonna pay attention when this gate turns off and this switch is on. I need an X war gate. Oh. There we go. Now we're going to do um, a turn function. But that this is where we need to find out which way we need to turn. And that's where we check the, both sensors. We have to check out which one is greater than the other. So we just need two math blocks. Those are number blocks. God. We'll just stick him here. Honestly, the delay is terrible. It gets worse and worse. Maybe you have to disconnect and reconnect? I don't know. Now we connect the sensors from both sides to these comparisons. Paint one of them white. So now the left side... Oh, it's perfect. It's, it matches the picture. So left side is not greater than, but it is less than on the right side. So, we, so whatever side turns on, that's what we have to do the turn for. <clears throat> so... Uh, this is the turning block that we have to send one or negative one to. And then we gotta connect that like this. My vehicle just became invisible. Okay. Invisible? Yeah, it became invisible for a second. 
Oh, okay. Alright, so... Let's get another math... Another bigger? couple math blocks, I think. If white is bigger, then go right. So this one should... So we're just going to pass trigger. the value into that. That's going to make this one negative. So when this one's on, it's going to put out one. Uh, but this one's going to turn it to negative. So that's negative one. Um, wait a second. Is this just a... Wait, why isn't that going forward? Hold on. I need a final math block before I do this. I'm just going to add the values together. There we go. So it's in one sec... Oh, 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 oh. I forgot it was on. It's alive! What the hell? Mine is not... at all. Oh, it's even worse. Oh, it just forced me out of the... <laughs> out of the maze. Hmm. Alright, let's see what's... Is yours working? It's doing something. <laughs> Both signals are off, right? Oh, oh, that's right, that's right. I didn't do the... I didn't hook up the XOR gate. Okay, so when this is on, I actually need this... Uh... Oh, no. Oh, no. How do I make a thing do a thing? What? <laughs> I know, I'm great. Just make the switches into always active gates. Okay, so the problem that I have right now is whenever this XOR gate is on, that's when I want to do the turning. When it's not on, I don't want it to do any turning whatsoever. So what I have right now is the sensors are always checking to turn. And it's always going to turn left mm -hmm. or right. Well, uh, it's doing the same for me, but it's, it's doing some strange Which normally stuff. isn't a problem, but... Um, it's not going forward because reasons. Finally. Is it turning the wrong way? Maybe let's try setting this to what is small positive and you to negative this needs to turn left and you turn off still trying to turn right can i get it not to turn right please what are you saying back here your, your negative turn. one, your one, your negative one, your one. Right. That should be the values. That should be the values for that the uh, the W the, the AD converter gives, right? Between one and negative one. Uh yeah. Finally, I have something that can hug the wall. Well, can stay parallel. Please upload the maze of solving AI to the robot, may, or, or to the workshop. Maybe. I mean, if we can get it working, yeah. Okay, so if I take this off the lift... It just spins around in place, no matter what that number is. It's always one now. So right turn, left turn. Yeah, that, that should be right.
Okay, you're here spinning a little bit too quickly. Is it because I colored this gate? No. I am so confused. This is hurting my brain. There are f so the number is always active. What? Just make the switches into always active gate so the number is always active. Yeah, but the, th the, the problem is I don't want the turning to always be active. So I want this XOR gates to control the turning. Uh, that is why I need to multiply. Okay, I need another math block then. This doesn't actually help. The, the logic gates, Brent, they just yeah. output uh, zero or one, right? Yes. You can even hook a switch to a math block and they will also be one or zero. Okay. Okay, so I got the turning to turn on just when uh, the front is stuck. This should be subtraction for sure. What is it subtracting though? No, it's just making this negative. There's nothing, no other input. Yeah, there's no other input. And this is going to the left side motor. Okay, so that's going to be, if this is negative one. Maybe I have my sides reversed. It should just be switching this, uh... Holy moly, am I ever confused. I suppose I could invert these as well. To always mm -hmm. flip the turning. We'll figure it out. So forward you go. Hold on. I gotta fix you first. Let's, um... Turn you off for now. Okay, now we'll turn you on. Giggity. Alright, the switches that are on top of the creation. Oh, oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're right. I can just set that to a, a thing that's on all the time. Okay, we want to turn right. That's good so far. Except for this garbage. Might have to increase the, the distance a little bit. And the left turn's broken. And we're totally broken now. All right, let's uh, reset you over here. Uh, also, that was a that was a great suggestion. I'm gonna do that right now. Uh, this was a pink and a red. Wait, how do you logic gates don't turn on anymore if it's like a NAND gate with nothing connected to them? 
They never did. You know what? It's fine. I don't need that. I just need... Um... Or... And then I paint them... Red and pink. And then I connect the main switch to these. So as long as the thing's on, it'll have the value. Perfect. Alright, so I gotta pay attention to which way it's trying to turn. <laughs> it looks like I'm doing brain surgery on this poor frog. Uh, with its head open and it's trying to run away. Wow. Wow, that was a way to this uh, that I didn't expect. Poor frog. Poor frog. Press F to pay respects to the dead frog that I've, I'm zombifying right now. Zombie frog. Oh, I just jumped out. Um... Zombie frog. Derf uh, and nor. What? No, so my issue is this uh, this thing isn't turning to negative one anymore, I think. So what I want is to just make this positive, question mark. Which means I didn't need this thing at all. All right, it seems to be going. Let's see if it can turn. So when it gets close to the wall, is the, the turning function is going to be on. So far it wants to turn right. Oh yeah, because I'm closer to the left wall. So it wants to turn right, it wants to turn right. Turns right. Okay, that's not that, that. Oh my god, not this again. It's not bad, but uh, I'm, I think I'm gonna have to put in some wheel guards. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, 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 please come on. They're just too grippy. It's actually doing it, and it's going too far. Two grippy wheels, right? Like it doesn't do a full 90 degree turn? Yeah, it went way too far for the 90 degree turn. Too far? Wow. <laughs> Alright, really janky turn. But uh, it's working. And now, nope, still positive. Oh my god, it's actually doing it. <sighs> it's freaking doing it. Okay, sticking to the left and doing 90 degree turns works. Okay, now it wants to turn left. Let's make sure that's negative then. Negative one. 
it should have turned left. So let's make it positive again and see what's what's up with that. <gasps> it's freaking doing it. I'll check yeah. it out in a sec. Just uh, it works. Wants to turn left. Positive one. Okay, so that this needs to be negative, but I'm not sure why. Maybe I need to uh, flip this one back to positive. Okay, okay, frog, frog. Careful. There we go. Someone's coming. No, no, go away. This is oh our private gosh. time. All right, I'll put it up here. Okay, gonna turn left, gonna turn left. Not turning left at all. I shouldn't have to uh, flip the other one though. Which one? Which one does this connect to? Hmm. connects here which goes to this engine uh -oh. so then what else connects to this 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 value <sighs> okay okay so that's the W um, I could try inverting this one that's just gonna make it worse I, I think I really messed up my thing. Let's just see your your bot do this course. I'm um, gonna forget about no, mine for now. I'm testing if it can do like it didn't now. No, I want to see but it complete then... the course. Oh my god, I think it can do the dead uh, the dead end. Well, yeah, if it's hugging a wall, of course it can. All right, start from again. Yeah. Let Let's, me let me go reset um, the timer too. All right, it's pretty slow though. Ready? Yes. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> So you're always turning. That's the strategy that you have. Well, it was supposed to go forward, but um, it kind of turned out in little wiggle. Yeah, you, but you're doing the like the always adjustment, adjusting thing. Oh yeah, 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 of course. It needs to go straight with the wall. It's so slow. <laughs> Or if you need a delay, uh, so when it detects being off, it can wait until the text to be back on again. Yeah, you use the tick button for that, for the delay stuff. Uh, I just went with a simple strategy. Like, this entire stream, I've been trying to keep it simple, and clearly it's paid off. Why but yeah, I just, uh, oh, oh, that was interesting. Yeah, it over it's because I didn't use an exact value to turn 90 degrees. I just picked, what is it, on the color tool. So are you even looking at the right side? Nope. <laughs> are you looking at, uh, like, the front and the back of the left sensors? Just the left sensor in the front, and that's it. I'm You're not even comparing the... like the front and the back of the left side? No, look, I have two sensors on the left. And I check if, um, well, which one is further from the wall? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So you're comparing the... you're comparing the left side. That's how you're doing your adjustments. And then the front sensor tells you if you're turning right or left. Yeah, well, the front sensor only says uh, how far I am from the wall, and that's the only value I really take. 
This would have taken no, so many so many logic gates. With yes, the vanilla logic gates. A really a lot. But basically it just, just um, checks how far you are from the wall on the on the left. Well how far. Um if it needs to go left or right, it needs to go parallel with the wall, and that's why the left sensors are there. And the front sensor just checks how far you are from the wall and based on that it makes it go um take a right i'm gonna turn. be honest with you i was not paying attention i'm very brain dead after this stream well the front <laughs> the front sensor just makes it take a right turn and the left sensor makes it hug the wall yeah oh i'm really curious how it'll do this one no it'll do it just fine mm, no i don't think so Oh, if it gets too close to this wall, probably not. Oh my god, please be please. It's Come too on, close, please. it's too close. Oh my no, no, god. No, it can do it. It can do it. <laughs> that was stupid. Oh my god. Damn. That was stupidly close. <laughs> I'm sure if you had your engines uh, set faster, it wouldn't be able to do that. No, probably not. Uh, paint some pink spots. Make it look like the skin's ripped off. Oh, that's a good idea. I should have done that. Oh, no, 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 no. Bye! <laughs> Just, uh... Why did it do a bigger turn? Why did it just say nope to the finish line? I don't know. It suddenly did a way bigger turn than it should. Can uh, just reset it here, see if it does do the turn properly. Right, I'm gonna do it over here, actually. No, 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 over here, just to see if it does this turn properly. Well, I oh. guess it would. Yeah, okay, go for it, go for it. I just changed some things. <laughs> Let me just shoot all the insides here. With Spud. Come on, 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 come on. Yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Somehow. Oh wait. Did it? It did. It's it's doing it. It's doing it. Nice. And you're good. Right, let's check the time. Uh, I think just about what? as good as your time. But you also <laughs> reset it. You also reset it. So if you didn't have to reset yeah, it, true. it would be better than your time. Oh my god. That's really surprising. Nowhere close to my time, though. Well, with some resetting, I could probably make it even better. Uh, with some more time, I mean. Give me like two hours of time, and I could probably. Oh my god! I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna do a five-hour stream. No, I'm not. I'm not either. Anyway, I gotta go. Kinda. It's uh, almost midnight here. Oh wow! Yeah, we took uh, quite a long time. Yeah, look. It's uh. It's. The no, that's not the time. <laughs> Trying to this show off your. <laughs> Do you want to take a look at this? Yeah, let's see how it does. Let's see how it performs in the maze. Oh, it's it's horrible. I I don't know what's wrong with it to be honest. That's well, what I mean by take a look at it. Diagnose its issues. Um. So this left back sensor. You know what? Here, compare it to this one. What the issue is, is those two uh, WASD, WASD things in the back. So mm -hmm. A and D is po negative one and positive one. And on the right side is positive one, negative one. Simple stuff, right? Yeah. So I replaced those with number number blocks. And they the the drive, the, the WS works as it should in, in its position. Except, hold on. I forgot I switched that. 
Okay, so that drives forward like it normally does. This is also supposed to be switched. There we go. It's just like the other one now. So this left gate in the back, the, the left uh, number block, it will change to negative one and positive one for turning, right? Just like the just like the AD converter. So when it goes to the right turn up here, it will turn right when it gets too close to the wall. It does the right turn fine, but when, we, when it gets to the left turn, even though it says negative one, it still turns right, and I'm not sure why that is. You'll want to um, color gates, I think, because um, if you take an orange output of um, something else, and then you'll take the no, no, it says negative one of that orange. It says negative one. Yeah, where does it read from? From it goes to it's an addition block. Yeah, and that addition block reads one instead of negative one. Just color the gates uh, to some color that is not color in white. The, uh, actual spectrum. Yeah, white or. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! It's turning left. It's <laughs> it's doing a jig now to the music. Really, that was it. That was my issue. Let's uh, let's reset the timers. Make sure. See if I can do it now. Kind of gotta go though. No, oh, you gotta see. You gotta see my five-minute run. All right. I'll uh. I'll see the beginning of it. I'm probably not even gonna be able to finish it though, to be honest. We'll see if it does. All right, all right. Zombie frog away. With part of its brain exposed at the top. Connect AND gate to a NOR gate to get it to always be active. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. I have the switch connected to them. It works out. So it's gonna do this really janky left turn. The big, here's here's the big issue. Will it turn, turn left when it hits this wall? When the tongue touches the wall. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't even, whoa, 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 whoa. It really tries to. Why does it turn right? Oh no, it's it's doing it. It's doing it. Maybe you stepped in front of the sensor. I don't know. Yeah, probably just. Oh man. Oh oh. Okay. So my issue is that it's just detecting which sensor is greater than the other, from left or right. Yeah, the problem with that is, um, as, like, the diagonal an angles, it, they'll be equal at some point. Yeah, it just needs a little help. A little bit of encouragement. It'll be able to do this turn just fine, because it's really close to the left wall. The U-turn is going to be interesting, though. And then at the very end, there's no, like, I, I haven't programmed the condition for the very end. Well, the left should be bigger, should it? So it should turn left, right? Um, well, your robot's in the way. Remove that. Oh no, your robot's still in the way. Move, it, just I'll move it. Okay, fine, you move it. There we go. You 
You know, I gotta be honest, it's it's com with a little bit of help. With a little bit of help. If I can just get it to not require help, uh, it's actually gonna be faster than even my time. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, 195. Wow. That was crazy faster compared to your robot, but also, oh, it, it, re it restarted the timer. And your engines are faster. No, they're not. Are they? I think so, yeah. I set mine down. No, they're not the same. I did change it at the end, though. They're actually lower than yours. Hmm. Weird. Oh, it's all the wiggling oh, that yours does. Wiggling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Everybody say good night to Brent. It's uh, nighttime where he is. Mm -hmm. I think uh, maybe we'll. Maybe we'll come back and finish these AI things. Who knows? Maybe we'll come up with another challenge. If you guys have another challenge for us to do, leave it in the comments, and uh, we'll 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 see what we can do with these new logic blocks. Somebody said to do the uh, 3D AI thing. That's 3D is crazy. It's crazy. Do you see that platform flying around? Do you see that? That's not gonna. It's not gonna work. But everybody's saying good night. Good night, Brand. All right. Bye. Bye. See you. Yeah, and that's gonna be the end of the stream for me as well, folks. Um, but I will be streaming on Twitch later today. I'm just gonna take a little bit of a break. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.